So good evening everyone, this is the part 2 of the Cumbria Coastal Path. I've come back to the exact spot I left it off at last time. Um, I'll show you actually the top of the bank in the distance. That's where I came down last time and walked into the town. And then over the bridge here. And then pretty much sat around this area here. So yeah. I'm not actually sure how to get back on the um, on the coastal path from here. I'm assuming you just follow this round, and I need to set commute up and have a look. But um, I'm planning to go from Worker and to Silliff, Struck, Skimberness, which will be the end of the Solway that you can do England side. Then I'll have to figure the path out to get round to the Scottish side. All I've seen so far, what I've looked at, is you can you can you can walk Skimberness coastal pathways and then you have to loop back round onto the roads and follow around to Abbey Town which I'm not too keen to do because it is the weekend where the storms are about to uh, kind of kick into place after the heat wave so yeah it could be a wet one but we will see my plan is today I'm going to walk work it into Maryport and then there's a old Roman mile for somewhere between Maryport and uh, Whitehaven so I'm hoping to camp near there tonight so it's about eight nine miles from where I am now Hopefully get some uh, food in Maryport's pass through there, which is about five miles away from here. But yeah, I suppose we better get on with it. Let's go! Oh, it's not the best to start. The path's overgrown. Just passing a uh, worker rope up on the right there. Look at this, though. It certainly doesn't get walked on a lot. I need to start the river Derwent. Coming down all the way from the lakes into the sea, just behind the hills at the back of there, which is where we're headed. The Scarfell Pike is staring at us in a catch on the camera. I think maybe just look at that highest mountain in England. So that there at the bank that we can see in the distance is Maryport. So essentially tonight I'm looking to get to Maryport, walk past that and then it's about two, three miles past that the spot I'm looking to camp at. I've just come down from here, which was um, the back of work in Harbour. It was, I'm not going to say it was quite a climb, it's steep, very short, much nicer than the start of the walk. Um, yeah, after a horrible day at work, that first bit, that walk through uh, working was not nice at all, but yeah, you can't pick the trail, it is what it is. Natalie and uh, the rest, but look at this, this is why we're here, big blue, I love him. That hill there in the distance, yeah again, don't know how well it'll show up in the camera, but it is there. That is the hill that faces Sillip, so... What I'm thinking is, well, what I'm thinking and what I know, we get around this bit of the coast here, and we'll loop around there, 
uh, towards Allenby, which will be in the morning. Um, and then we should be able to see Selif in the distance, so uh, I'm thinking we're just following what we can see in the morning. But I've never done it before. I live, what, 20, 30 miles uh, east. Never been on this bit of course before. So yeah, lovely adventure. It's very wild. Oh, I've made it to Flimby. I've just sat down for a uh, a little cold beer that I had set in my bag. Um, it's red hot, like it's still looking on, uh, I think it's 29 degrees. It's quarter to six now. Um, I've got about half an hour, 45 minutes till I get into Maryport. Stock up on a few supplies there and then uh, head on towards mile 421. So it's going well so far. Um, not enjoyed the path very much from work into Flimby. It's well, you, you've seen what it was at the start, but it's not got much better to be honest with you. Lovely views, it's a nice little place. You can see everyone moving back. Yeah, we'll carry on. Say bye to Flimby Pie Shop. Wasn't open. Got it. Two miles from Maryport. Come on! Just come out of work at now. It's the uh, lighthouse in the distance there. Just stopped and got some food. Need some calories in the system to carry on. That's about three, three miles I think to go now to the campsite. So yeah, Let's see how we get on. I've stopped again in Maryport. Well, just past Maryport with this gorgeous view. I'm flagging now after. Um, an extremely hot day working in the kitchen where it's been like 35 degrees to doing what best part of 10 mile uh, <laughs> in 30 degrees since then it's certainly kicking my ass now but yeah nothing to sit down and uh, this view won't solve there's like I say when well on the last clip like I said um, there's only two two and a bit miles I think to go till I get to my fort 21 where I'm gonna camp around there so yeah, it's it's what I don't even know what time it is. Half well, nearly half seven at night now. So what half an hour to get to the camp spot. So I've been plenty of time for a good sit down. I'm sorry if this bit's been boring, but like I say, I am flagging. Um, the majority of work happens tomorrow. So yeah, gear up for uh, watch me pitch a tent up and <laughs> have some noodles. But yeah, I'll catch you soon. I feel like I'm going to sleep extremely well tonight. Um, and to any of you that have been doing multi day hikes in this heat, fair play to you like. <laughs> I love how red it all is. Beautiful. Very rare you get a sand beach in Cumbria. As you can see. <laughs> Stopped at a, a random bar I've come across, Mary Park Golf Club, for a nice cold pint. It's beautiful, it's, uh, <laughs> it's sorting us out to be honest. But um, yeah, I'm going to sit here drink this and then I'm going to do the last mile to mile 421. So yeah, I'll bring you back when I get there, unless anything amazing happens. Apparently we're here. We'll see. Here we have it. 
Roman Mile Fort 21 or the remains of I'm gonna stick my tent on here somewhere it looks about as flat as it's gonna get there's nothing in the field as far as I can see and then look at the view this way it's not bad it's not bad at all I think um, I think this is the highest point I'm going to get to for the rest of the walk to be honest well the rest of the Cumbria side of the walk um, yeah let's get, let's get this tent up because I'm done in <laughs> absolutely done in yeah this looks alright let's find the perfect spot I can't decide between here and just under the bank there it's one of the two it is, um, it is forecast to rain tonight, but nothing crazy. Look at that skyline, unreal. Wow, that looks amazing from what I'm looking at on the camera. But yeah, here or here, stick it in the comments. What do you reckon? I mean, I've gone over pick one, but I've gone for here. It looks pretty flat. The wind's going to be coming in this way, so so if I'm sat there facing out towards a mile fort, it should be good. We'll give it one of these. So I've got this, which I will show you when I can get, get it out of the bag. She you've seen it many times before, but the little pump, it's unreal. It is actually unreal. So, we'll get this pumped up. Okay. That's the one. Move all this out of the way. No breath. No breath. It's very noisy. Give it the last few breaths. And that's it, twenty quid well spent. Well spent. So I've got a couple of bees to see through the night. Got a hazy jane guava and a life or death vocation. So I think I'm gonna have those beers, probably a pack of noodles and that'll be me for the night. So we'll catch up with you in the morning. I have no idea what the weather's gonna be like. It's either gonna be rotten or it's gonna be lovely. We will see. It's definitely gonna be hot though. Catch you in the morning people. As you can hear, it's, uh, it's a bit wet out there. The rain's had to ease off in about half an hour or so. Um, and then it's, fingers crossed, looking like it's going to stay dry for the, it's about three hours more I've got to fill it. So yeah, we're going to wait for the rain to pass uh, and just get it up while it's dry. There has been quite a bit of fun there already this morning as well. Um, I'll come across to the sea. So yeah, it's going to be a fun day walking this. Didn't even end up having that last night. I had the hazy Jane and then a uh, bed. <laughs> it's absolutely nothing. It's got a couple.
couple of these open bars for breakfast. <sighs> Ready for summer. That's me all packed up. Everything sitting in the back of my mind. I'm going to have a little look around this, uh, this mile fort before we leave. It was a bit dark last night. Still see just over to the sea. We look out this way again. Foggy this morning. At least it's dried up though. The tent is dried up. I've got the tent dry enough to stick back in the bag, so at least it's not exactly outside. Yeah, we can go in here. Yeah. Let's see what we find on the way. I'm about uh, a mile down the road since I got back on the path on uh, my Port 21. Um, two minutes, uh, heavy rain we had before. The thunder, <laughs> it's calmed down a lot. Uh, I've set off at the right time, I think. Nice, uh, but either way, I think we'd have to climb the mountain. Uh, well, the wind blowing so it's quite nice, it's perfect for walking. Again. So, yeah, I'm gonna crack on. I can see some of the distance, I think it looks a lot closer than it actually is, but let's see what next. I think it, Google Maps said about three hours, I don't think it'll take us quite that long. Don't quote me on that. the first time in ages I've got off the road um, I just followed it right up the coast up that way um, yeah I'm well past Alamy now stopped there uh, there was a toilet and a bit of could use there so a bit lighter all around after that but yeah I'm not too sure how far away I am now I think I can see still in the distance but it's not the first time I've said that this walk so <laughs> we'll see there can't be that many places coming up so I don't know, another hour or something and I don't think we'll be too far off. Getting the odd um, drips of rain coming in, but nothing too bad yet. Hopefully it stays off. I've got my jacket in my bag if needs be. Oh, we shall see. sit down of the day um, I can definitely see the flour mill uh, for Silith just in the distance there so I'm not too far off so I thought I'll have a little chill and just enjoy the views of the Solway which I'll show you in a second before I get to Silith I've got about uh, what time is it uh, 10 to 11 so I've got about three hours till the bus comes so I should have enough time to get something to eat and have a bit of a sit down in Silith too spot on it's the back of Silliff Golf Course now. See the town just over there. Not far to go at all. Right, so as you can see, I made it to Silliff. Um, as I recorded that last clip, they haven't started pouring down. <laughs> they opened right up. 
So yeah, I didn't get much of that, then I had to take the camera in my bag. Um, I've just had some food, I'm just sat out by the sea, as you can see. Big blue. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, what I'm going to do instead of uh, going around to look and showing you what's here, what's not here. Um, me and Kyle came and camped here a couple of months back uh, on the beach. Um, we didn't record enough stuff to make a full video out of, so I'm going to drop the clips, or the best clips from that trip, uh, to the end of this video so you can have a better look around to them. But yeah, it's a lovely little seaside town. But yeah, thanks for joining me, and until next time, peace out. It's this real balance of the grease and stuff with the beer. Soupy oh. King. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna have to shut this up. Oh, you know, it's fucking. So, this is the reality when you get curry sauce all over the inside of your tent. All holes down. This one. It's not good. <laughs>